physics of heat. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna see what everybody knows about heat. Like, what is heat? Uh, it keeps me warm. You get it from the sun, right? You can feel it. So you would, you could deduce if that it could be a substance. Now remember, heat is not energy in and of itself. It's just a word that we use to describe a type of energy transfer. I'm using these two as a great example of how heat is transferred. Try to see what people think about the temperature of these two objects. And hold the legs of those tripods. So what do you think? I would say the legs of the tripod are definitely cooler. I'd say that the book is much warmer than the actual tripod. These legs feel very cold, and this book doesn't feel cold at all. Man, I'd say this one's like twice as cold as this one. Twice as cold? Yeah. <laughs> so why do you think with the metal being out here for so long, why, why would you say it's colder than the outside temperature? It's a great question. Yeah. Uh, just to put this in context, the temperature of both are the same. The reason one feels colder has everything to do with the transfer of energy. The metal legs are good conductors, so they pull heat out of our bodies quickly. And the book is a very good insulator, so it doesn't pull heat out of our bodies very quickly, so it feels much warmer. Since heat is energy in transit, how that heat is moved is actually really important. And there's three different ways. Conduction, convection, and radiation. This is a little jet boil, and it actually serves as a great demonstration of some of the different types. So if I take the gas and I light it, as the flame hits these ridges, the heat is then gonna be conducted through the metal to the water. Now, when it hits the water, that water is then going to transfer that energy through the rest of the water through convection. So it's starting, to, it's like a mass transit of molecules. So it's gonna start moving around, right? Now radiation is actually electromagnetic waves that are then emitted from the hot metal, say, around this jet boil. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, here's a quick summary of what we learned. Heat is not a substance. It describes energy in transit. And remember, heat only flows from warm to cold. The tripod felt cold because it was a good conductor. It pulled heat from our body quicker than the book, which is a better insulator. And don't forget the three ways energy is transferred. Conduction, convection, and radiation. So there you have it. The physics of heat, super important on a camping trip like this.